Does brain inflammation drive repetitive behaviors in OCD and autism? Have you ever double-checked a locked door or rewashed your hands just to be sure? For most people, these moments pass. But for individuals with autism or obsessive-compulsive disorder, these behaviors can become consuming, repetitive actions without a clear purpose, driven by something deeper in the brain. Until recently, we've pointed to genetics or neural circuit dysfunctions. But now a new study has spotlighted an overlooked culprit, chronic brain inflammation. In mice with a mutation in the NLRP3 gene, a mutation that causes overactive microglia, researchers found sustained inflammation that directly triggered excessive activity in NMDA glutamate receptors. These receptors are vital for neural signaling, but when they're overexcited, they fuel anxiety and repetitive behavior. Two FDA-approved drugs, memantine used for Alzheimer's and anakinra used for arthritis, were able to suppress this inflammatory cascade. By either blocking NMDA receptor activity or halting the inflammatory signal from interleukin-1-beta, these drugs reversed the repetitive behaviors entirely. This isn't just a win for the lab, it's a paradigm shift. If this mechanism holds true in humans, we may already have the tools to treat core symptoms of ASD and OCD, not in years, but now. The future of behavioral disorder treatment could be just one repurposed drug away. This video is based on the research paper, The NLRP3 Inflammasome in Microglia Regulates Repetitive Behavior by Modulating NMDA Glutamate Receptor Functions by Jiwon Um et al. in Cell Reports. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.